As I get a little older, I realize life is perspective. And my perspective may differ from yours. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been down with me. All my fans, all my beautiful fans. Welcome back to my channel. It's Deanna Simone. And this channel is all about just documenting my consistency. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. So today I am working on my second week of my frequency volume squat cycle. I am on week two and today is also front squats. So the reason I'm doing this program is to reach a new personal record. But also this program is also great for increasing both your leg size and also strength. I was introduced to this program by my brother and this was the beginning of like my true fitness journey with weightlifting. My goal is always to get stronger. As of right now, you know, goals change throughout you know, like the process. So today I'm doing front squats at 60% of my personal record and I'm doing five sets of six and it, front squats are pretty tough for your girl. This is something that I struggle with a lot when I first did this program but to be honest I really am happy about the progress that I've made and consistency is key. You want to keep working toward, you know, really performing the squat correctly and just breaking it down. So I actually, in the first program, you saw that I went back and started with no weight. And then once I felt comfortable with the form that I was using when it comes to the front squat, and it could be very tricky, I will admit, then I gradually went up in weight. So about... With this program, you would go up and wait every week. Whereas if I was doing like a regular like strength based program, I would be going up and wait every two weeks. So this program is really good for like building strength. And this is a good outline as to like what um, type of work you will be doing. So I'll share with you all my sets of my squats and then we're gonna go right into my leg day, which is similar to my leg day on Monday. And I only do two leg days out of the week because we're squatting every day. So I don't want to do too much work. And I also don't want to overtrain myself. So as I finish up on my back squat, I'm sorry, and also front squat, I get right into my RDLs. I added RDLs in my last squat cycle. Before I was doing just deadlifts, I was doing like three sets of five. And the RDLs now, I'm doing three sets of eight. And this is a glue, good glute workout if you want to build those glutes and make them strong. Honestly, I love this program. I'm so addicted to this program all together with the squats because it's really going to help build those legs and, and build those glutes. So if you're looking for a dumpy, this is a good program. I'm getting into my glute bridges and I'm doing this because I'm going to also build those glutes and, and also build those hamstrings. You'll see my loving 
hamstring workout after this here i'm doing five sets of five so i'm not going to show you all the sets but this is basically what it looks like And finally, I'm getting into my hamstrings, so I'm going to be doing some gliding slides. My brother introduced me to this workout, and I adore it. Um, it's very, it's hard, and it's a mental thing because you want to slowly move your feet forward and slowly bring them back, and that's what's going to put more of the stress on the hamstrings to help grow them. And I also feel like this is a stacked leg day routine. Now, throughout this program, of course. My leg days are going to change because um, I'm going to be lifting more weight. So we'll definitely see how that goes and I'll keep you guys tuned in to how it's going. Also follow me on TikTok because I give like a, a little talk before some of my workout sessions. Just talking about the squat cycle and how it's benefiting me, okay? So I'll see, see you guys later. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It's Deanna. And we just finished our front squat day. It was five sets of six at 70% of our PR. I knocked off, I would say 10 pounds. No, I knocked off five pounds. I tried to do it at 70% and y'all, that first set I was only think I was able to get three up and three cleared reps and then my camera wasn't working either. So. It didn't even record that set so I dropped some weight off and then I went back and did it again but I think today was like the hardest <laughs> workout for me it was so frustrating I just was tired I felt weak and I haven't felt like this in a really long time I'm pretty sure it's because I wasn't eating properly so I have to do that and keep that in mind while on this squat cycle that's exactly why I didn't want to like start cutting or anything now because when you're trying to lift heavy you you need to eat and in, in, in contrast with that so you don't feel like I did today I really wanted to tap out because even after that I did my RDLs they felt okay and then I got into my other workouts but your girl just felt washed like to be honest I was kind of hungry too so it wasn't the best day. It was really frustrating by the time they keep all going. I really wanted to stop squatting though, but I think I got in all six um, sets, well, six reps. Um, we'll see once I start editing. It was just, today sucked. It sucked, my nigga. It did. And it, all the days are, every day is not gonna be great. Um, but definitely, like put yourself in a position to win every day and I didn't do that last night I don't think I ate properly at all and to be honest I probably was eating properly all week so I need to go to the grocery store after I get my hair done today and pick up some hearty foods that I can eat throughout the day so I can have enough energy the next day to work out I'm not a big cooker so that might be a part of the problem so when dinner time comes around I'm like mm. Let me just scavenge stuff up in the refrigerator that I can eat for dinner. But it, it, it don't work that way, especially if you have fitness goals that you're trying to achieve. So, we'll see how that go. I'm going to go home. I don't even feel like talking, y'all, because I'm so just disappointed. And it was a front squat day. I felt like I could just do so much better, and I just didn't. Can't y'all tell? I'm, I'm, already, I'm still tired. So, I'm going to go home, wash up, detangle my hair. I'm going to try to. And then I'm gonna take I'm gonna go back to sleep and we're gonna wake up on the brighter side of things when I wake back up I'm gonna restart right and then um, I'm gonna get ready to go to the hairdresser to get my hair straightened and then go to the grocery store and get some gas I need gas too your girl gotta spend some money today all right I'll talk to you later as I get a little older I realize life is perspective and my perspective may differ from yours. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been down with me. All my fans, all my beautiful friends.